Despite facing a deadly threat of war from one of the most feared countries in the world, Ukraine seems to be making important economic decisions. According to a local report, the European government has passed a law that legalizes cryptocurrencies and other digital assets. Bill number 3637, which the Ukrainian parliament has just passed, is a virtual asset bill that legalizes and regulates cryptocurrencies and other digital assets in Ukraine. In another news, Governor Jared Polis of Colorado has announced that residents of the U.S. state will be able to pay their taxes using cryptocurrencies by the middle of 2022. Welcome to Savvy Finance. This video examines two important new developments for cryptocurrencies in Ukraine and the U.S. state of Colorado. If you like these important developments, please consider dropping a like for the video and checking out our other catalogs of crypto-related videos. Enjoy! On Thursday, February 17, 2022, Ukraine's parliament, also known as the Verkhovna Rada, adopted a virtual asset bill legalizing and regulating cryptocurrencies and other digital assets. According to the stipulations of Bill Number 3637, Ukraine now has the ability to legally regulate digital assets. The draft states that the law regulates legal relations arising in connection with the turnover of virtual assets in Ukraine, defines the rights and obligations of participants in the virtual assets market, and the principles of state policy in the field of virtual assets. This means that citizens can now freely buy and sell cryptocurrencies and other digital assets. Crypto-related businesses such as trading platforms and other blockchain companies can also legally operate as a part of the country's banking system. Though people have been freely trading cryptocurrencies in Ukraine, not having a legal status means the courts cannot do much for victims of fraudulent activities. The newly passed bill will therefore protect citizens and businesses alike. However, the Hrivnia remains the only legally recognized currency that can be used as a means of payment for goods and services. As the country teeters on the brink of war with Russia, it seems to be tying up loose ends to safeguard the future of its economy. That is probably why legislators widely and readily accepted the virtual asset bill on Thursday. In total, 272 legislators voted to pass a bill which only needed 226 votes to pass. Thursday's voting session is the country's second attempt to legalize cryptocurrencies in five months. Last October, a similar bill was passed into law by the legislators, but was vetoed by President Volodymyr Zelensky in November in consideration of the country's limited budget. The newly passed bill has been adjusted to accommodate the president's demand that crypto regulation should be under the jurisdiction of the National Commission on Securities and Stock Market, the Ministry of Digital Transformation, and the National Bank of Ukraine. Hopefully, this would spur the president to sign the bill, finalizing the status of digital assets for Ukrainians. One of the ministry's spokespeople told reporters that the country plans to open the cryptocurrency market for investors and platforms in 2022. However, the tax code and civil code will have to be amended before that can happen. Once it is, Ukraine will welcome crypto-related businesses that meet a few prerequisites. They must have an unblemished reputation and show that they would be transparent in their dealings. They would also be required to pay a fee of $3,000 along with taxes. In other news, the people of Colorado will be able to use cryptocurrencies to pay their taxes by the middle of the year, according to Governor Jared Polis. The governor, a staunch crypto supporter, revealed the plans during an interview on Tuesday. We expect to accept cryptocurrencies for all of our state tax-related purposes by this summer. And then we plan to roll that out across all state government agencies for things. It could be as simple as a driver's license or a hunting license, the governor added during the interview. Colorado is not the only U.S. state considering some form of crypto regulations. As cryptocurrency adoption spreads throughout the United States, about 20 U.S. states are on the verge of passing various crypto-related regulations. According to a November report, 16% of Americans, around 50 million people, invest in cryptocurrencies and other digital assets. Polis has been a supporter of cryptocurrencies for a long time. During his political campaign, he accepted Bitcoin donations. He also led a move to make Colorado the center for blockchain innovation in the country. The plan to accept digital assets for taxes has been in the works since last May. During his interview, Polis explained that the state would accept Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies for taxes, but immediately convert the assets to U.S. dollars. It is important that people know from a state perspective, we cannot be in the business of having exposure to a market where securities, including cryptocurrencies, fluctuate, Polis stated. In our case, we would not hold it as Bitcoin as Ethereum, he added. He also explained that the state would employ the services of an intermediary that would help convert the digital assets to dollars which would be used to take care of state expenses. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and drop your comments in the comment section below.